Are you feeling tired? Tired from scrolling the whole day in your bed, knowing you should be doing something else, but you just can't stop. And when you do, you have no energy to do anything, so you go back to distracting yourself. If you want to overcome mindless scrolling, this video is for you. I will show you easy habits and tips to break your social media addiction so you can regain your focus and change your life. So here are 15 habits to stop doom scrolling. Change your phone settings. The first step is to make scrolling on your phone less enjoyable. So set your screen to black and white. This will ensure that you don't get the same dopamine hit as before. Now turn off notifications for all apps and turn on do not disturb. I have the setting on pretty much all the time so I don't get distracted by my phone throughout the day. Another useful feature is the app limit which limits the time you spend on each app. Out of sight, out of mind. How many times did you mindlessly grab your phone just because it was laying next to you? So put it in another room, hide it in a drawer, or only charge it in the living room. By simply removing it from your space, you'll be less tempted to check it. Don't use your phone in the morning. Don't go on social media to wake yourself up because this just leads you to hourless scrolling. That's because the first dopamine hit that you get is what you will continue to look for throughout the day. So instead you can read a book or make a morning playlist with chill songs. You can also listen to a podcast or look at a Pinterest board with your goals or your favorite quotes. All these things get you in the perfect mindset to start the day. Set up your home screen. The way you design your home screen can make such a huge difference in your phone use. First, remove all social media apps from your home screen, so whenever you want to use it, you actually have to search it up, which makes you more mindful. Now only keep specific apps that serve a clear intention. I have set up these different focuses, like one for work, another one for exercising, and one for some chill time. This helps me to stay focused throughout the day. Find things to do instead. The easiest way to stop scrolling is doing things that make you forget about your phone. So read books, draw, bake something, take a walk outside or spend time with friends. There are literally hundreds of fun activities you can try out and if you are looking for some inspo, I've made videos on things you can do when you're bored, but you can also look on apps like Pinterest. This way you don't even have to try to stay off your phone, you simply enjoy spending time with yourself. Use the 10 minute rule. Now that you have things you can do instead, you will still get the urge every now and then to go on your phone. So a method that helped me is the 10 minute rule. This rule says that you can give into any distraction, but in 10 minutes. This way you can acknowledge that you are in control and that you're not dependent on instant gratification. The idea is that you're building that ability over time. So the 10 minute rule becomes the 12 minute rule becomes the 15 minute rule. And you're learning, wait a minute, I can actually delay gratification. Remember, all these problems of distraction are an impulse control issue. So by building this trust within you over time, delaying gratification becomes the norm for you. Get clear on your goals. It's not normal to be exposed to thousands of highlight reels that make you constantly feel like you're lacking something. This is why so many of us nowadays are insecure and have low self-esteem. So instead, focus on putting all your energy into yourself. Get clear on your goals and set a vision board as your lock screen. Having a purpose will get you out of that lack mindset and into one of abundance and motivation. Now you're too invested to achieve your highest potential to even care what other people are doing. Download useful apps. Delete apps that distract you, I recommend especially those ones with short form content and download the ones that help you. Habit is an app that helps you to build new habits by reminding you with notifications and tracking your progress. With Flora you can stay focused by setting a timer and when you don't use your phone in that time, you'll grow these pretty plants. Lastly, ScreenSend helps you to stop doom scrolling by setting an app limit or locking away distracting apps for complete focus. Make your phone benefit you. Just as social media can be very bad for your mental health, it can also bring you many benefits. So unfollow accounts that just distract you and follow those ones who inspire and motivate you. Consume videos that you can learn from and help you on your journey to grow into the best version of you. 
you can also start by pressing uninterested on your TikTok feed so your algorithm only shows you content that benefits you. Remember, even you watching this video right now is a sign that you are ready for a change. Just take the first step. Define a deeper issue. The reason why you have a phone addiction is because you try to distract yourself from something. It can be boredom, the homework you are procrastinating, or your own negative beliefs about yourself. So work on the root of your problems by doing shadow work. Ask yourself questions to know the deeper issue. And once you know what it is, you can take the first step on healing yourself. This causes your phone addiction to automatically disappear because you are no longer in need of something that will provide you comfort, because you can provide it by yourself. Understand your phone addiction. By understanding why you are addicted to your phone, you can become more mindful and take steps against it. So read books like these ones, listen to podcasts and watch videos on this topic. Social media platforms are designed to keep us as long as possible on the app because when an app is free, you are the product. By scrolling, you get a huge dopamine hit and over time you are so overstimulated that your attention span gets shorter and shorter and most importantly, you lose focus to do anything that is important. With instant gratification, you lack fulfillment in your life. So instead, learn how to delay gratification. If you do things today that your future self would thank you for, you unlock long-term success and happiness. Plan out your day. I think we all relate to this when we tell ourselves we had enough, we will change, no more mindless scrolling, and the next day, well, nothing has changed. That's because you can't rely purely on willpower. So what helps is planning out your day. When you have a full schedule of things that you enjoy, you have less time for distraction. Write down the time, action and the place. Like at 11 am, I'm going to meditate for 10 minutes in my room. This way you'll think less about scrolling and more about following the things you've planned. Create your environment mindfully. Now that you made your bad habits invisible, make the good ones visible. So switch your phone with some books next to your bed or if you're into painting, put some brushes on your desk. This way you don't even have to think about doing them. You just see them and automatically take action, which leads you to make better choices throughout the day. Put a hairband around your phone. Putting a hairband around your phone prevents you from mindless scrolling because every time you see it, you can ask yourself, do I have a clear intention in mind? Is this intention serving me? And am I spending my time in the right way? If the answer to any of these questions is no, put away your phone. But if you have a clear intention in mind, you can remove the hairband and use it. This teaches your subconscious mind to only grab your phone when it's necessary. Forgive yourself. For me, the hardest part of dealing with my phone addiction was the immense guilt and distrust I was feeling. I knew if I did other things, I would be way further in life and way happier, but I just couldn't stop using my phone. And that made me feel so disappointed in myself. But you can't hate yourself into change. You can only do it from a place of love and forgiveness. Once you stop looking at the past and envision your dream life, your vision of the future is stronger than your doubts of the past and you can let go. This is when change truly happens. Learning how to use your phone effectively may be one of the most important life skills any of us can learn. Trust me, if you practice these tips, you will overcome your phone addiction and get so much more appreciation for the small things in your everyday life. Just take the first step. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video.